hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate graphql with nextjs and we will be using prisma for it along with postgres database so let's get started i will be showing you how to use queries and mutations uh, for of graphql in nextjs so firstly we will be creating a nextjs project so i'll just copy this command go to your working space directory paste this command here you can change your app name whatever you feel like i'll just name it as my app now again this will take little bit of time uh, for the installation firstly i think it will ask you for which uh, package manager you want to use i'll just use npm and let it do its thing uh, again this will take little bit of time so in the meantime what i'll do is i'll just open this application so this is my application inside vs code uh, now uh, just to come clean in front of you i have already created this application called first it has all the necessary code of so i will be copying this a lot of code from this so don't get confused uh, whenever i open this first uh, but yeah i'll try to explain you as much as i can uh, so don't worry too much about it uh, next uh, once this installation is complete so it is still going on but once this installation is complete we have to install three dependencies nextjs graphql nextjs apollo and apollo server as well as graphql also one more thing which i want to tell you given that i will be using postgres you can either use uh, some postgres database on some cloud provider if you want to or you can i'm using neon db which provides a free tier of postgres database so i don't even have to register my credit card or debit card or if you have a postgres uh, database running locally you can use that as well so i'll leave that up to you so once our project initialization is done we just have to install all these dependencies so i'll just go to my app okay i'll clear everything out and then i'll just paste this command so it will install all the graphql dependencies for us so that we don't have to worry too much about all the stuff uh, if you want the documentation you can go to this particular link as well it has all the documentation for graphql with nextjs once uh, this is done we also need prisma so i'll just copy this uh, and i'll paste it over here so we'll have to install prisma as a dev dependency as well uh, once that is done we will have to initialize prisma so i'll just copy this and what it will do is that it will create a prisma folder as you can see inside our project now inside dot env you will have to enter your database url so i will do that later on but make sure you enter your database url over here of postgres database uh, once that is done uh, we'll have to go to uh, prisma and here we'll have to go to schema.prisma so I, what i'll do is i'll just go to my practice project i'll open this and here we just have to create this particular model user so we will be doing queries and mutation for our model user so if you see you just have to paste this particular thing so here a user will have an id it will have an email it will have a password and it will have an age okay so once this is done uh, we just have to run this particular command so that it can create migrations for us now before we run this command make sure you enter your db url inside dot env otherwise it will fail so i'll quickly enter my postgres uh, url inside dot env and come back okay so i have entered my uh, database url inside dot env then i will just need to uh, run this particular command so i'll just need to run npx prisma migrate dev dash dash name in it so i'll just copy this and paste it again this will take little bit of time for uh, it to communicate with my database so yeah let's give it some time uh, then we just have to install this particular dependency called npm install prisma in a uh, prisma client uh, before that i'll just go to my practice project again uh, where is it next and i'll go over here and here i will just uh, what i will do is uh, i just have to open this prisma dot service right so i'll go to src no not src prisma i need to open no i'll need to create this particular file so i'll just open this again don't get confused sorry about this i'll so what we'll first have to do is we just have to install this dependency right so yeah this is taking a bit of time let's just wait for this to finish because it, it is creating migration for my database and like i told you i'm using neon db so it needs to communicate with that so it has finally created the migration so it will automatically create that table for us as well so we don't have to worry about it once that is done i'll just install this particular command so it will create a prisma client for us so next inside src 
will have to create a file called prisma uh, dot service dot ts once that is done i'll just copy this all code and i'll paste it over here so here this is how we initialize prisma again i have just copied this from the nestjs documentation you can do the same thing uh next once we have initialized prisma we just have to go to app.module.ts so i'll just go to this i'll open this from my practice project and next i'll open it from our real project i'll split it to the right side next we have to add all this imports right so what i'll do i'll just copy this imports related to graphql and paste it inside our imports folder and i will also add this two imports as well ignore the user module for now so what i have done is that inside our imports i'm just initializing our graphql module uh, passing our upload driver playground is true and here i have just written type paths uh, and here we i have just imported two things uh, graphql module as well as apollo driver and apollo driver config that's it uh, once uh, that is done we'll have to create a module for our user so i'll just copy this command and paste it inside our application so it will automatically create user module for us once the user module is created we also need to create service for our user module so again uh, it will basically create a user folder as you can see over here then i'll just copy this command as well so it will create the user for us as well so once that is done we have to create the user dot schema dot graphql file so i'll go over here i'll create this particular file again i'll just go back to my practice project and i'll just open this and i'll paste copy this and i'll paste it over here so basically we are creating a type user uh, which has an id a email password as well as an age and here i have created two queries one to get an array of users and uh, this particular query uh, it takes an id of type int and returns a user back and mutation here i have created an user which takes email password as well as age this exclamation mark which you see that means mandatory uh, and if there is no exclamation that means it is uh, not mandatory i'll just keep everything as mandatory for now but if you remove the exclamation that means not mandatory okay so this is done uh, that means uh, sometimes uh, like not mandatory as in it could be undefined or null whatever yeah okay so yeah we have defined our user dot schema dot graphql file then we have to create this create user input i think i have not created this file yeah ignore this file for now we don't re really require this then we just create this user dot users dot service dot ts file right we'll go over here now again i'll just open this my practice project i'll copy everything and then i'll explain it to you so here if you see we are first injecting prisma service then uh, we need to create a method called create which takes the user create input and we first check whether we have an existing user nor or not if yes then throw an error saying email already exist if no then we create a user inside our database by getting the email password and age and then return the user back similarly to find a user by its id we just take an id of number and we did uh, keep a promise then here we just do prisma.user find unique where id is equal to whatever id you have said if you are able to find the user we send the user otherwise we send null and here we do a sync find all that is promise user array and here we just do prisma.user.find many that's it that's how simple it is then we need to go to user.resolver.ts so we'll have to create this particular file as well so i'll just copy this name and i'll also open it over here so firstly go to user we'll have to create this user.resolver.ts then again i'll just copy all this and i'll paste it over here so here you can see we have created a user resolver class now mark it as resolver of your type user then here this name query name should match the same what you have defined over here so users if you see the second query it users the second query is user without an s so same thing over here and if you see the mutation it is create user so same thing over here as well so this is very important you can't just randomly give whatever name you feel like 
so here it takes an user service a constructor injection and here i have just created a method and here we are just calling find all of our user service similarly user with an id we just do user service dot find one by id and pass the id to it and for create user we take email password and age from the mutation and we just pass it to the create method which we have okay so this is done then we just have to go to user dot model dot ts so i'll just open this and i'll go to my practice project i'll go to open user dot model dot ts and here we have to add all this firstly we'll have to add prisma service so oh, i'll just close all this so firstly make sure you add prisma service at the very start then it has user then we also require user resolver and then make sure you add user service so i will just add all this imports as well and this is for prisma service okay so that's it so here is our prisma service user resolver as well as user service okay so this is done so yeah i think that should be it uh, let's try running our application npm run start colon dev once your application is ready something like this you can just go to localhost colon 3000 slash graphql and here we just type query give your name uh, give it names such as get all users you can give whatever name you feel like and then again type users so this is our user query and what all things you want i want id i want email i want password and i also want age now there is no users in our database so if i try to execute here you can see i get an empty array i will create click on this plus tab i'll create a mutation add user again you can give name whatever you feel like and here we'll have to click on create user so it automatically gives that proper intelligence for us and here i want id email password and age again you don't need all this stuff you can choose and pick whatever all you what all things you need and here create user takes an email so i'll just give it as abc at gmail.com similarly for password it takes a password abc and it takes an age so i'll just give it as five and i'll just click on this hopefully so here you can see it has created the user for me and now if i click on get all users here you can see it has created uh, the user for me uh, getting all the user for me i'll just create one more user so it has created this user and if i click on get all users again here you can see I'm able to get all the users. Again, I'll click on query, get a specific user, okay, by its ID. Again, you can name this whatever you feel like. I'll just do user, okay, it takes an ID, pass the ID of the user, I'll just do one. And here again, I just want the email. And here you can see you can select because there are multiple queries in this particular tab. I'll just click on this get specific query. And here you can see it is only giving me the email because that's what I requ requested for ID of one. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.